Hey, what's up, Hexplainers? Super excited to have you on board once again. For today's challenge, and we're going to have a look at the misplaced signature file one that has the task of accessing a misplaced CM signature file and it falls under the sensitive data exposure challenges. And we do have a link over here, so let's just click that. And this is taking us straight to a GitHub repository. And let's just have a look at that. It's the repository of Sigma, which is a generic signature format for CM systems. So if you don't know what a CM system is, this is standing for Security Information and Event Management. And it's basically a system a blue team would use to detect certain access violations. Uh, you can imagine it like that. You, for example, have an SSH brute force and there's a rule that says if there is five uh, brute force attempts in a row, you will get an alert. So this is what a CM is doing. Check it out if you want to know more about those. And apparently Sigma is a generic signature format for a CM. And it is for log files. What snort is for network driving and Yara is for files. All right, I think this is not really interesting. I'll just scroll over it. It tells me why to use it. Slides, I guess I can learn something about it over here. I don't really think that I need that. There is an example. We do see how a rule is managed. It's coming in a YAML file and it has certain tags over here, like a title description and so on. I'll just close that for now and go to a folder that I've discovered in a previous challenge that I'm going to link you in the top right corner which is the FTP folder and I'll just open that up over here slash FTP and we've seen this before if you've been following along you know this page by now and those are a couple of files that we can access and if we look closely a couple of those where we know we've already had a look at like the KDBX file like the the package backup over here and looking at all the others, I do see the suspiciouserrors.yaml over here. And I just read in the Sigma GitHub repository that this works with YAML files. So I guess this is the file that I want to access. And I'll just use burb today as I wasn't using burb in the other challenges around that folder. So I will go to my target tab. I will go to the sitemap of Shop. And I already see FTP in here, which is the folder we're on at right now. And here are the files. And I want to use suspicious errors YAML. So I just go over here and click Control R to send it to repeater. Click on the repeater tab and I do have the request in here. So let's just try to open it up by clicking on send. And it tells me forbidden because We've seen this before, only .md files and .pdf files are allowed. But we already know how to circumvent that. And we are going to do that with a null byte. And the null byte is, I'm quickly showing you this again, sc table. A null byte is defined by the hex character zero so null 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 means null and a null byte is basically truncating stripping everything that is coming behind the null byte it doesn't work in in every single web framework in every single programming language but it it just strips everything that comes off the walls and let's just go back to burb and try to use that and we know that for example if i go to the coder if I want to type a percent character and I encode this as a URL character, then it's encoded as percent 25. So URL encoding is needed for that challenge. And I'm going back to repeater and the suspicious error YAML file is the one I want to have, but I can only open up MD and PDF files. So I will add .md to that click on send again and try to open that and this obviously doesn't work because there's no such file but we can let the 
application think that we're opening up an MD file, but truncate the .md ending and open up the suspicious underscore errors .yaml file by placing a null byte right in between here. And a null byte would be percent zero zero. And I go and send this again to the web server and it still doesn't work. It's a bad request. Why? Because I've just shown you before that also the percent character needs to be URL encoded, which is done by using percent 25. So I'm quickly going back, the percent character becomes percent 25 and this in total is the percent character and then followed by zero zero is the null byte. So I'm going to send this URL encoded null byte, which is percent 25 zero zero to the web server and see what happens if I can access the file. And I do see that I do get a 200 OK response back. And this looks pretty similar to what we've seen before in the GitHub repository. So I do have a title over here, which is suspicious error messages specific to the application. The description detects error messages that only occur from tampering with or attacking the application. And the author is Bjorn Kimenek, who is the amazing creator of OS Juice Shop. So it seems like we've actually found the rule for the CM solution. And let's just go back to our web app and see what the web app shows. And we do get the green banner over here saying that you successfully solved the challenge misplaced signature file. So this was it. Thank you guys for watching this. I think is it for now with all the files that we had to access. There were a couple of those. Check out all the other videos. Make sure to let me know in the comment section where you're struggling with how you like O's Juice Shop. Make sure to subscribe in the top right corner. And yeah, with that, I am seeing you folks soon again. Thanks for watching.